Hi everybody, in this presentation I will try to highlight the ecological roles and biotechnological potential of marine fungi. If we think about fungi, we immediately imagine the wonderful organism we often meet walking in the woods. Rarely, this type of mushrooms can also be found underwater. However, we have to keep in mind that most fungi are entirely microscopic, always beautiful, but visible only under the microscope. Fungi play dominant roles in ecosystem environment. As saprotrophs, they are pivotal in nutrient cycling and also in bioremediation. As symbiont of plant, algae and animals, they provide fundamental ecosystem services. However, they are also terrific killers, able to act as pathogens of plant, of other fungi or animals, and are involved in biodeterioration of food, feed and manufactured goods. These terrestrial fungi have been already harnesses for the exploitation of their enzyme and other secondary metabolites in different biotechnological fields. Much less is known about the occurrence function and potential of marine fungi. Fungi are ubiquitous in marine environment as they are on land and they play the same or similar roles in marine ecosystem. Fungi have been found in any marine habitat where they have been searched for, from hydrothermal vents and deep sea sediment to arctic ice, surface water, salt marshes and sandy beaches. They can be found as a free organism, the so-called mycoplankton, or associated with organic or inorganic substrates, the mycobentos. Indeed, marine fungi encompass a wide range of lifestyles. They can behave as symbionts or parasites. They can be selectively associated as endophytes or epiphytes to different marine macroorganisms and of course are able to grow as saprotrophs uh, on different kinds of necromancies. Mycoplankton communities are a diverse and ubiquitous component of marine environments with strong roles in ocean biogeochemical cycling. Their abundance, structures and function are strongly linked with environmental factors and primary production. Data shown in the graph suggest strong horizontal and vertical spatial patterns and their, of their abundance and diversity. More in detail, mycoplankton encompasses filamentous free-living fungi and yeast that are associated with planktonic particles or phytoplankton and that can behave as saprotrophs or pathogens. These fungi play a significant role in heterotrophic mineralization and nutrient cycling. Most of the studies focus on chytrids, which often behave as very virulent parasites on all planktonic algae. They have a strong seasonality and impact on primary producer community. Indeed, by means of a mycoloop, parasitic chytrids can transfer material from large inedible phytoplankton to zooplankton, since fungal spores are excellent food for zooplankton. Large colonies of phytoplankton may be fragmented by chytrid infections and become edible to zooplankton. On the other hand, infected host colony may remain inedible to zooplankton due to the aggregate formation of cell. This aggregation may sink faster and affect material cycle. Many chytrids also behave as saprotrophs and play important roles in aquatic food webs by decomposing inedible organic materials and becoming food for the zooplankton. Fungi are a dominant fraction of marine snow particle, removing the sequestrated carbon from surface water and transferring it to the deep ocean. Changing hence the current view that bacteria and archaea are the principal contributor of heterotrophic microbial myomas in the surface ocean. In addition to natural carbon cycles, fungi appear to play fundamental roles in cycling anthropogenic sources of carbon as oil and microplastics. Here is shown how, after the deep water horizon oil spill, fungi increased dramatically in marine sediments around the site. 
Indeed, in oil polluted sediment, fungi are likely primary degraders of high molecular weight hydrocarbons and work synergically with bacteria. Recent papers already showed how fungi are among the most important colonizers of the plastisphere and how several fungal strains already highlighted strong degradative capabilities towards different kinds of plastic. Fungal activity is not limited to a water column and may even be more prominent in ocean sediments. Air RNA based assessments show that fungi can dominate within these ecosystems, particularly in sediments containing high proportion of organic carbon. Metatranscriptome show how fungi are involved in nutrient cycling and cross feeding with other microbial communities and show how anaerobic fungi feed with hydrogen and other molecules prokaryotic communities in anoxic environments. Fungi are also key components of the microbiota of all marine macroorganisms where they display different lifestyles. Since the host fungi interactions are affected by both biotic and abiotic parameters, the final result of this intimate association can change accordingly. Fungi, mainly trichomycetes, live in symbiosis with many marine animals. The presence of fungi in gut or reproductive tracts of arthropods can increase the fitness of animals, improving the nutrition by releasing vitamins and improving the degradation of complex polymers. Approximately 700 lichens are known in marine environment. They often grow on rocks in the intertidal zones, but some can live perpetually immersed and they are very useful in supporting the growth of small mollusks. Many fungi act as mycophycobions. Their hyphae grow between the host cortex and medulla, forming a network of filamentous mucilage that protect the alga from drying out during low tide. Some fungi produce also pigment that can block UV rays. Seaweeds host a wide variety of endophytic fungi that have been identified as a potential source of bioactive molecules and enzymes. Fungal endophytes produce a plethora of metabolites that usually increase the fitness of the host and could represent a line of defense against colonizers and predators. Since any seaweed has its own microbiota, it must be able to recruit and select fungi from the surrounding environments. However, many fungi have also been signaled as seaweed's pathogen. Some seem to be very specific, others seem to be widespread. Fungi, mainly belonging to oomycetes and microsporidia, are probably the most important parasites of marine animals and often affect fishes, crustaceans, shellfishes and corals. Fungal diseases are economically important in aquaculture and are for sure ecologically important as in the coral diseases. We are now conscious that fungi are ubiquitous in marine environments. They are no longer considered as contaminants of terrestrial origin, but as organisms with specific adaptations that play important roles in marine ecosystems and in marine food webs, and also in blue biotechnology. Marine fungi still represent a largely <coughs> untapped source of novel bioactive compounds and metabolic pathway that could be exploited for new biotechnological applications. They indeed produce hundreds of secondary metabolites like estremozyme, very useful in industrial processes that require extreme conditions of pressure, temperature, pH and salinity. They also produce large number of new metabolites that can be valorized in pharmaceutical, cosmoceutical, nutraceutical and environmental sectors. Thank you to Fungal Culture Collections as Micoteca Universitatis Taurinensis, we can now preserve and study marine fungi, making them available to academic and industrial communities. They can be exploited in a sustainable way in services as ecosystem management and bioremediation and in providing many products for societal needs. Thank you for the attention and bye.